With the start of a new school year comes the start of a new sports season for many kids. And while it's recreational for some, it can be highly competitive for others. However, recently we've seen a change in sports culture, a softening of the competitive spirit, if you will, by eliminating such things as scorekeeping, a rep level for younger players, and awards and rewards being distributed to everyone evenly on the team. Joining me now to discuss this on Parenting Playbook is strength coach and fitness writer Lee Boyce, along with women's transformation coach and fitness expert Nichelle Laus. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Firstly, where do you both stand on this issue, Nichelle? I think we're both on the same page with this one. I, I am too, um, I don't agree with this and I also come from the parenting aspect as well because I have four boys and I'm in an actual situation like this. And where you're seeing all of these things being played out. Definitely, yes. Personally, I think that uh, it really, it's all in good intention, but the thing is, is that it runs the risk of uh, causing a little bit of like a, 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 it could truncate somebody's potential for growth sometimes. And uh, also there might be a little bit of uh, ramifications that happen from uh, just the aspect of looking at whether or not somebody matures properly or if uh, they build the life skills that are necessary in order for them to, uh, to get ahead. Well, because we often associate sports with life lessons, exactly. working as a team, setting goals and achieving them. You're saying that this may, this may deter someone from reaching those goals and, and setting those goals and achieving them. Just depending on the severity, yeah, because like if you don't understand not only necessarily congratulating a winner, but also somebody who loses in a game and they still get treated in the same way, well, they don't really have the experience to deal with things like loss or concession or realizing that they have to strategize to get better the next time around. Well, and I think we're, we're also selling kids short a little bit. I think we're not giving them enough credit that if you don't, if, you're, if you didn't place highly in a, in a tournament, let's say, then they know when they're given a consolation, consolation trophy, they know it's a consolation trophy. They I know. know of stories of kids, of grown-up yes. parents, of grown-up adults who said, I was given that trophy and I threw it away because I didn't really deserve it. I wanted the one, two, three trophy, That's not right. the 15th place trophy. And it's okay. It's okay to come in 15th place because you will, you will want to achieve, you, you will want to excel the next year. You exactly. will want to do better. And we need leaderships in, in sports. We need those leaders who have been through defeat in their own career for our children to look up to. And, and if there's no distinction between leaderships or, you know, between that competitiveness and, um, you know, they, they won't have anything to aspire to, to set their goals. So why do you think we're seeing these changes? I'm wondering, is it less about the kids, maybe more about the parents on the sidelines? Personally, I might think that it could be swaying in that direction just because of the fact that you might not, I, I I'm not sure about this, but there might be a lot of parents out there who don't have personal experience with sports and competition themselves back in the days when they were younger. And so that could obviously influence their decisions or make them feel like their children are being left out, for example, if they do not place well or if they don't get as much playing time or if they don't reach certain uh, potentials that other kids might be able to, uh, to reach. And I think that in, on, while talking about parents, is parents should use other coping mechanisms to, to, for, for the children to be able to handle other, like, defeat. And to also, you know, give rewards, give, give you know, gratitude or whatever it is to, to the children who do better and who do place better. So it's, I think, learning those skills at home and then resonating that outward. You know, I always think of uh, the, sign, the, the saying from Rocky, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you get hit and get up and keep moving yes. forward. I think I threw another line into that one. <laughs> that Rocky Balboa <laughs> said, but still, it's a good message. It is. Uh, if you also think about how much this could transcend just sports alone, because this culture and this idea that's being, ha uh, that's being propagated, if you start thinking about it in terms of the world of academia or the workforce, um, mm -hmm. what happens when a kid doesn't make it onto the honor roll? Should we all lobby for that kid or the group of kids who have a D-plus average, for example, to also get recognized and get uh, a certificate or an award for that purpose? even though they did not reach a certain standard. So there are a lot of different ways. What about uh, getting beaten out for a job or a placement in a university and whatnot? There are a lot of different ways that you could look at this where it could be a little bit dangerous and it could start uh, sort of teetering on, on a, a dangerous, uh, slippery slope. Excellent point. Lee Boyce, Michelle Loss, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thank you.